Aladdin Creations. Hello friends, welcome to another video of Aladdin Creations. My name is Kaindo. In this video series, we are talking about how to identify and confirm medical important bacteria in laboratory. So today in this short video, I'm going to discuss with you how to identify and confirm virulent system to by bacteria in laboratory. The gram positive spherical cells that occur in genes. Most of members in this group are alpha hemolytic, but they may non hemolytic as well. They lack the both of carbohydrate antigen of pyogenic streptococci and capsular polysaccharide of pneumococci. They can be found in upper respiratory tract and mouth as normal flora. And it is important to maintain the healthy state of mucous membrane. But if they reach to bloodstream, it causes endocarditis, especially after invasive dental procedure, and also causes dental caries, gingivitis, and periodontal diseases. They multiply on cardiac valves and cause systemic and local diseases, which are fatal if untreated. Virulence factors of them include glucoside transferase, an enzyme which hydrolyzes glucose. Production of insoluble glycans leads to dental plaque, enhance their attachment to cardiac valves. Let's see how to diagnose virulence streptococci in medical laboratory. If we consider the colony morphology, small colonies with alpha hemolysis can be seen on blood taken. But sometimes this may be non hemolytic as well. This virulence streptococci do not grow on Maconchi agar. As we know, only group B, D, and enterococci of streptococcus species give positive growth on Maconchi agar. Then we have to prepare a smear for gram stain. And we can see gram positive cocci in chain under light microscopy. If we perform the catalyst test, it is catalyst negative. Now we are confident enough to say this one as alpha hemolytic streptococcus based on above finding along with clinical suspicion. Next, we can direct our test towards the alpha hemolytic strept identification panel. First, we can perform the optogen disc test. It is resistant for optogen disc. Usually, we do not perform biosolubility tests for optogen resistant species. But if anyone has performed virulence streptococci, give negative result in biosolubility test. It means it is bile insoluble too. Well, friends, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and gain knowledge about how to identify and confirm virulence streptococci bacteria in your laboratory. You now you can find this video script from our website www.readingcreations.com Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and hit bell icon to update with more medical laboratory science and medical related videos like this. Thank you.